Now, according to the Washington Post, more than 5,300 federal employees here in Indiana are impacted by this partial shutdown. Even those still working aren't getting paid as they all prepare to go without their first paycheck. Rich Van Wyk brings us tonight one couple's story. What's it like working for nothing? <laughs> you feel unappreciated. Along with frustrated and scared, says Kirsten Anderson. I'm constantly trying to work the numbers out so that they'll work. Are they? No. No. I'm, I always come up short. Anderson works from home for the U.S. Customs Service. Her husband, Brian, he has a full-time job. But the government shutdown cut the couple's income by more than half. She's certain Washington will miss this weekend's payday. All of us live paycheck to paycheck, and missing one paycheck is a big deal. She's negotiating deferred payments with their credit cards, college loans, and government-backed mortgage. So your mortgage company wants to work with you? Correct. But there's nobody on the other end of the VA to say, yes, do this, this is okay. Come on, let's go outside. Come on, Come on Sam, Sam. The couple provides a foster home for unwanted dogs. They've quit eating out or even going out to save money and gas. We have to make sure he has enough money to get to work. We have to make sure that we have enough money to feed our animals. We have to make sure that we have enough money to feed ourselves. Anderson says she feels like a pawn in a political chess game she wants President Trump to put an end to. My livelihood should not be subjected to outside squabbles. Open the government and discuss this like adults with Congress. That's what I want to hear. It's something she wants to hear. A lot of people are going to want to hear a lot of information from the president tonight. If the partial shutdown goes on much longer, Anderson says she will have to find a part-time job to pay the bills. She's not alone. She told me the story of one family, a one-income family of six, that is suddenly a no-income family now struggling to make ends meet.